Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video. Um, in this video, I will guide you through how to utilize the Quad SPI uh, memory that is available on the STM32 F746 uh, disco board. Um, so this, the prerequisite for this video is that you have a working prototype in the QID. Um, and if you can see here, um, I have this build analyzer. I can just try to close it real quick uh, because I lost it at a moment, uh, at, a, at one point, and I'll spend some time figuring out where it was. So if you go to window and you go to show view here, you can go to build analyzer. So pretty obvious when you know it, right? Um, the idea is that when you when you build your project here, uh, let's just uh, try to build it. You get a view of how much memory is used in your, in your RAM and your flash. Um, so this is only using the internal memory. Right, uh, and you can see we have. You can even go to memory details, and then we can have a look at what is ex stored in the flash. So the RAM is not that interesting. So the flash here, um, we have this uh, the extended flash section, where we have um, the blue background, and we have a button here, a round edge, and the round edge is when it's pressed, and we have dark background. Um, so these comes from. Let's just go to the touch GFX here and then this touch uh, GFX uh, project. So if we click that, we can open the touch GFX designer uh, directly. And this is the my design. So this is the same design as I did in the first video where we just created a simple uh, project. So the backgrounds here, they each take up a lot of space because they are, they are full size uh, images. Actually, I think they are stored as bitmap bitmaps. Um, so you can see here the blue background main here it takes up 255 uh, kilobytes of memory and also the the other one so we are using quite a lot of uh, flash in this ext flash section fun flash section is uh, where all the funds uh, are stored and the text is where uh, our texts are stored let's just go back here with the video guide and uh, let's add some text to uh, the project so we can just uh, take a text area here and test text like this. All right, and then we can just generate the code. Code generation complete, it says down here in the left corner, just close this one and then build the project again. And then we should see that the, the text flash section will have a new uh, array in it where we store the, the test text. We have uh, this, uh, I think it's a single use one here. Single use ID one. Um, yeah, let's just go back and check for, for sanity. Text area one, it says. Um, it probably has an ID as well. Oh, anyway, so we have uh, a, a single use ID here in in the memory. So every time you create an asset in touch GFX, it has to have a space in e either of these three sections, right? So that all goes into the flash and it goes into the, the internal memory, the internal flash of the chip. And we only have one megabyte uh, and with two pictures taking up uh, half of that and other images uh, gobbling up memory, like, I don't know, very, very hungry people. Um, we run out of memory with two, three, maybe four screens, depending on what you're doing. So we want to extend this into the Quartz SPI uh, memory system. And that is perfectly possible, but there are a few caveats here. Um, so what we need to do is, when you see at the project here, we have two linger scripts. The one is called RAM, is of course for the, the, the RAM, but the flash one here, if you go into that, you just pull this back down here. So it says uh, first here memory, what what kind of memory regions are available and what sizes they are. And so far, um, I mean, you, you can copy these linker scripts from different places. Um, what I have done is that I have opened uh, my C drive and I go to touch GFX projects here. And then I just made a demo application for this specific purpose. And if I go to, let me see, yeah, just go to the GCC folder here and we can find this linker script LD file, open that with notepad 
and let's have a look at it. Okay. So first you'll notice that you have a third region of memory here called the quad SPI. We copy this region uh, and insert it just below here. So we know that this demonstration uh, code is running on the board. Um, so we can just copy paste whatever we want here. So this now we have to find the, the region that is available. We have uh, specified the starting address, so we should be good to go. And I'm using a notepad plus plus, so we can just double click on quad SPI here and see where is that uh, located el elsewhere here. So we can see here it says arm attributes zero something something, and then we have the EXT flash section, and that goes to the quad SPI uh, memory space. So we just copy all this one here. Uh, remember not to do take the the last curly brace here. Oh, I don't want this one. There. So we copy this one, and then we go over here, and just below the arm attributes here and above the curly braces, we insert this. So now we have an EXT flash section, and we pipe that or direct it to the quad SPI. So if we do another build here, we should be able to see that we get a third section of, uh, of memory here called the quad SPI. And you can see that the EXT flash section is located to that direction. Uh, if we go to memory regions here, we can see that instead of having 70% filled in flash, we now have uh, only 13% on quad SPI is 3% filled because that's a huge address space. And we can even uh, do, do this, take this a bit further. So we can take the last multi-line comment here, remove that and put it up here and then try another build. So we can move the, the fonts and the text areas from the internal flash to the quad SPI as well. Uh, doesn't change you that much, but I mean, it's still something. So now we have moved all the, the memory locations uh, to the quad SPI. The rest of this video is going to uh, deal with the fact that the quad SPI has to be loaded probably, and we have to be able to access it, access it through the program. And we need to do uh, a bit of jumping through hoops to get that to work. So we will do that now. One of the issues we are having is, um, as I just said, that we need to load the, the, the quad SPI with the correct data. So what we can do about that is we can right click on the project and then go to the debug as here and then go to debug configurations. Um, and then we go to the debugger tab here and then all the way down here, let me see if I can expand this. We can uh, click in this external loader. And then we, when we select that external loader, we can uh, select here. Oh, there is currently it's empty, but we press scan here. And then we can select uh, through a different range of chips. Um, so the 746 board has an N25Q120A chip. So it has to be one of these, uh, there's only one uh, short list here. So there's only one that will actually match, there's only one external loader that will match our board. That's the N25Q120A STM32F746G disco. So we can see um, there are some other different, or some other information here. This is the starting address space here. It's a null flash. Um, yes, we just click this, like this press apply and then we can say close here. So now we have told uh, the, the project that we want to use an external loader to load the quad SPI information. But even though we are loading the, the information, the program don't have a way to, to load that information back inside. So we have to make that work as well. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to do that. So. You will probably remember that in the components folder here, you had the the FT5336, that is the driver for the touchscreen. So we can if we start by locating uh, that folder again. Let me just see here. Uh, we have the, this is the, the workspace that we're having. So the components here, you have the FT5336. And if I, uh, at the same time, try and load up the 
the touch gfx project the demo project that we just used uh, and go to uh, drivers and bsp components you can see that we also have an n25q128a which is the the flash so we can copy that one into our components and we should go to the stm32746 g discovery and you can see that you also have um, that same folder here in our project so if we go into that we can see you loaded the touch screen uh, files which are coincidentally also here so you can load the you copy the qspi files over here all right so uh, so far so good let me just uh, move that away and move this away as well so if we go back to our main uh, file we uh, so this one was included to get the bsp to work but i can also include the stm32 yada 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 um qspi now okay so now i have included the qspi uh, header file but that is not all the re the thing that is not working right now so now we have the driver in place and we are loading um through the debugger but it still won't work because this one the mx underscore quad spi in it let's hit f3 to go to this initialization this one is just wrong i mean jesus it's wrong um so if i go back to the the demo application for linker um I will uh, go back to, let's see, we need to go back to, and this is where I might fumble a bit. Um, so I need to find out uh, where the the code is for this. Let me just figure that out. Um, yes. All right. So in your, uh, in your project here we go to the to the core folder here and then we can go to the source folder and then find the main.c++ file and if we just open that so what I've, i'm looking for in this file is the mx underscore quad spi in it just the same as we are having trouble with in our own project um so if we have a look at those side by side you can see here so the quad spi and clock prescaler 2 20, 20, uh, 55 and one and uh, sample shifting none and so on and so forth you can see that the clock prescaler and the fifo threshold uh, and flash size are completely different so for some reason the cube mx don't initialize the quad spi uh, correctly when we are asked it to initialize to the default values so we copy the whole uh, quad spi init method or function also with uh, these bsp uh, calls and the mpu um, calls so all everything between uh, the user code um, what is, you know, just copy the whole file i can just take everything here like this and then we insert that into our own like this and since we have already included the the header file with the qspi here everything should build properly and you did the touch screen as part of the initial setup process so we all already have the the right folders included in the in our path so you can see what we compile with only three warnings and we have uh, still a really nice uh, memory usage everything is stored or not everything of course but a lot is stored in the quad spi right now and when we press uh, debug here then we should be able to just have the same project as before but uh, now we are loading um, we are loading the external memory you can also see here during the the, uh, the the download of the program you can see that it's erasing the internal memory sectors and then it's erasing the external memory sectors when it downloads and uh, it's verifying and uh, now we should be good to go so if i press uh, resume i just have the the same and i have the text blob that i added just recently uh, my led is blinking on the back side so we're combining everything right now um, i know that some people had problems when they unplug the board and disable the debugger so i'm gonna try and unplug the board 
and re-plug it back in. And the board starts up right away. Um, I even get a nice uh, box with the with the embed uh, file system running. So uh, this video has now shown that it's possible to move uh, the all your assets or a lot of your assets to the quad SPI memory, the external memory. We have shown you how to, or I've shown you how to uh, use the external loader as part of the Cube IDE. And um, so we have a lot of free space on our, in our memory, both in the internal flash, but especially also in the quad SPI. So now we can really increase the usage of, of graphics. We can just dump all kinds of, uh, of uh, images onto our screens. Now we should have plenty of space to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video uh, on how to configure this uh, quad SPI. Thanks for watching.